Now I'm going to introduce to you something so special and you're going to think, what can be special? Well, special to me is what you do every day because if you use something every day or do something every day, then you'd want to be able to see what we want to show you. And I'm going to show you this because you're in the household section for a reason. We're going to upgrade your kitchen. We have many different ways to upgrade your kitchen, but these are one of the most important first things. We know you cook your food. What kind of pots and pans are you cooking your food in? Now, are you cooking your food in regular pots and pans like the one you buy? Even cast iron? These are Teflon, and I didn't pay a little bit of money for these. I paid about $100 just for this one pan. This is a commercial. Uh, I'm not going to say the name, but it says commercial, commercial, commercial understand, underneath there, and it's uh, made in, uh, let's see, patent pending, made in Hong Kong. Now, this is a commercial, high level. I've had these for years, and I've been waiting to upgrade my pots and pans and my cooking utensils for years. Why? Because I didn't want to pay $300 for a pan from Germany before, because that's what they cost. And I didn't even know what they were that good, because I had to wait until it became real because a lot of things come out in the system you have to wait so we've got ourselves a whole set 10 different pieces to upgrade your kitchen from the old stuff remember Teflon is been known to be very toxic plus all the other chemicals especially when you overheat it now I want to introduce to you this special set of products. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Remember, we're upgrading you. It's easy, economical, it's efficient. Upgrading your system. You don't have to go ahead and actually, like I did. I went to every store there was to check and see if I could find good, non-toxic cookware that I could use here on the stove and duplicate and use in my oven so I don't have to buy double. So we have knives part of this. We have um, 10 different pieces and we have special ceramic knives that are so sharp and you could actually understand stainless steel I paid hundred dollars for this one knife made in Germany of course these are made in Germany this is stainless steel 440 very good stainless steel but this kills your food it's been well everybody knows that nickels not good for your body what makes you think cutting your food with nickel is good you can cut a red apple just cut it Rub the knife against it too. Put it on the side, cut another apple in half so you don't separate them, or just cut it on each side, and use the ceramic knife. Wash it first, of course, each one. Make sure you get all the residue off so there's no soap. You'll notice that the ceramic side you cut doesn't turn brown. It's because the stainless steel, the nickel that's in the, the utensils, okay, are a problem. So what we're trying to do is get away to going to non-toxic, but also what's not going to go ahead and kill the food. Ceramic doesn't go ahead and destroy the food. What happens is this cuts the apple, and what it does is it actually it destroys the electrical content in the apple, and it makes it so all the spores in the air can eat this apple. And so with the ceramic, it doesn't do that. It stays just like you know when you cut it. It looks just the same after about 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour. This side turns brown. Why? Because the pinhead spores only eat the areas that have been damaged by electricity. They eat low-level electricity. So don't damage your food. Now, um, real quick here, like I said, we have an upgrade here. All these different types of pans. This is a saute pan. Uh, we have a saucepan with a clear lid so you don't have to keep opening up you know, while you're cooking and you're trying to go ahead and actually do what you're doing. Well, now you can see what you're doing. Remember, you can use these in the stove too, up to 450 degrees. Here's another one, fry pan, okay? Wow. Then we've got ourselves uh, the three knives, small, medium, and large. And we'll go through these in a little bit here too, but you'll see, look at this, big soup pot. And remember, you're here to cook your food, not kill it. Put it on low. Don't turn the heat up high because these are supposed to go to 450 degrees. Remember, 118 degrees you kill the food anyways, but just cook it like 200 maximum. That means very low flame. You'll cook it longer, but it'll taste better. You're just trying to blend the food together because cooking food actually is something that we've done for millennia, but it's not really healthy for you, only unless you have about 20% cooked food, and this has been well known. Uh, and about 80% uncooked and trying to get towards a vegetable based non-greasy remember you don't have to use oil in this stuff that's the best part cooking things you can do them dry with this 
you can put a little bit of water in it. It doesn't stick. Remember, this is not Teflon. This is made in Germany. Um, we'll go through everything real quick here after the next video, but I just wanted to show you this. This is not interesting. This is essential for your kitchen. You have to be able to really understand that, remember, special means that you're going to upgrade things that you use every day. Those are the number one things on your list. Simple problems, reactions, simple solutions. Take your cookware out of the kitchen. I'd use it only for emergency, okay? And I'd use it only on very low heat, very low very low because the more you heat those Teflon pots up and the more you use different types of you never use utensils on these other than wood I wouldn't even use plastic or anything like that. I just use wood never use metal ever because it cuts into the ceramic remember there's a metal inside there it's a very very good deep alloy that makes the heat distribute right and we'll get through all that in a minute but we'll see you next time go to the next video and you'll we'll get a little deeper into this okay